guys welcome back to my channel so i figured today soon as i start talking that's crazy um so i figured today i would do um a chit chat get ready with me i never do like chit chat get ready with me because i'm just i'm naturally a quiet person uh i live like in my head so like talking out loud is just like I don't know, it's just something I don't really do unless I'm around people that I'm like really, really comfortable with. But I tell myself that I'm gonna be more open this year, so this is what I'm trying to do. Sorry, I, um, a lot of you guys know if you follow me on Instagram that I got Invisalign and I they put these little buttons on my teeth and they're like cutting the inside of my mouth up because I don't have my Invisalign in because I can't talk that good with the man. Um, so yeah, excuse me if my mouth is doing something weird because it's really hurting in a few places. Um, but yeah, I figured I would do a chit chat, get ready with me with you guys, just to catch up with you guys and just, just to talk. Um, so yeah, my, one of my friends from high school is out here and we only get to see her like, see, I can't talk and do two things. I wasn't supposed to be like getting my makeup ready. Okay. So everything that I'm using will be down below and I'm going to try to multitask. Um, so I'm going to be using... Uh, to prime my face, I'm going to be using my favorite, which is the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. And I always mix it with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, especially if I'm going to be out for a long time. And I think we're going to be out for a long time today. Um, so, yeah, we're getting ready to go to brunch. And my uh, one of my friends from high school is out here. We only get to see her, like, um, maybe twice a year. Maybe. Um, it's getting, as we gotten older, it's getting, um, it's been a lot more because, you know, we have money and we can travel. And she doesn't live out here. Um, so she's out here and we are, my mirror is over here by the way too, I had to move it. Um, and we had game night last night, if you follow me on Snapchat, you've seen that. Um, but yes, yeah, so we had game night last night and tonight we are going, not tonight, <laughs> today we are going to brunch, y'all think I'm still drunk, like what time is it? It's 10.30 and I woke up 30 minutes ago and I showered and that's why my voice sounds like this and... I probably am still drunk. I need to take a BC powder, honestly. Um, so yeah, we're going to brunch today. We're going to a place called Tortilla Republic. It's in West Hollywood. So we figured we'll do something in West Hollywood because if we get too drunk, um, not too drunk, well, yeah. If we get like drunk and stuff at, um, at brunch, which I'm sure we will because they have bottomless mimosas and they have sangria and I love sangria. Um, so if we get, like lit and want to do something if we're in WeHo which is West Hollywood if you're not from here you're like what the hell is WeHo it's West Hollywood they always have like it's a whole bunch of bars and they have good music like all the bars always have a good music um I'm going overboard with this primer y'all I'm not good at multitasking um so yeah um we figured that if we want to do something after brunch, then we can just uh, walk down the street and go to one of the bars. Uh, so I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade Tahoe for almost all of their things, I believe. Um, so that's probably too much. So yeah, we're going to go to brunch. That's gone. I dropped it. Y'all, I'm all over the place this morning. This is too much, too much happening, too much happening. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go to brunch and then we'll see where life takes us from there. Um, but yeah, what's going on with you guys? I know it's the new year. I know everybody has new resolutions and new goals to accomplish. Um, I know for me, for sure, one of my goals is I really, really, really want to finish my hair care line. If you guys don't know, then um, if you guys don't know, I have a hair care line. Um, it's called Lovely Bees and it's an edge control right now. I just have an edge control and a deep conditioner. Um, I use the edge control in almost every video and I use the deep conditioner pretty much every time I wash my hair unless I'm doing like a video um, that is like one collection and I obviously I can't use my deep conditioner if I'm doing a one collection video. This looks really good today. My skin is coming back. So yeah, my skin that broke out really, really bad. Um, not even, I know exactly the cause. It was because of stress, because I was trying to find a place to move. Um, and like just a whole bunch of stuff was just going on and I kept getting breakouts. If you guys see, I have this like patch right here that I'm working on. I just or reordered my serum to help uh, fade it. I had run out of my favorite little serum. 
Um, but yeah, I was really stressed out and I just kept breaking out in the same places over and over and over and it was in the cheeks and that's the stress area. I know it wasn't like hormonal or anything, literally like the biggest pimples I've ever had in my life and I've never had bad skin. Um, like I feel like my skin has gotten worse now than when I was in high school. Like I didn't have, I barely had pimples in high school, like maybe every now and then. I feel like now I get them all the time. Like I have three on my chin <laughs> right now. I have one right here and two right here. These two are going away. I popped this one yesterday. So I have to cover that up. Um, but yeah, I, um, skin was breaking out really, really bad because I only had a certain amount of time to, um, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Actually, I'm going to cut. I can't do my eyebrows and talk. I know that for a fact. So I'm gonna pause right here and do my eyebrows and then I'll continue. Okay, so I'm back, eyebrows done. I'm glad I paused it because I don't know if this happens to you guys, but after I drink, especially when I drink a lot, like verge of hangover almost, I be having the shakes and doing eyebrows and wing liner is so hard the day after drinking especially when you have the shakes oh my gosh so finally got my eyebrows done back to the story so yeah i was super stressed out because i didn't really want to move from my old place um uh, if you guys want to see that video i will leave it down below or link it at the top um but yeah i didn't want to leave my old place because i absolutely loved 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 my loft um for under eyes so I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. I think I have a little bit of tan sand left. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to go on top of it with medium golden because I don't want it too bright because we're going to be outside. Like I don't have to have, somebody keeps cutting the water on, I'm sorry. I don't have to be super bright um, during the day like under eye. I kind of want to be beat but I want to be natural if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I was super stressed out. I didn't know um, if I wanted to leave my old place or not. Oh yeah, this is running out. Um, I didn't really want to because I absolutely love my loft. Like, I love natural light and I just, oh, this is pissing me off. I feel like they're doing it on purpose. <laughs> um, yeah, so I absolutely love my loft. I didn't want to leave it because it was just everything except it had carpet. And you guys know I do a lot of hair videos. So, um... Doing hair videos on carpet is horrible, especially with dye and just like the hair shedding everywhere. Like vacuum, we get mad, they be about to explode trying to vacuum up all the hair and all of that. It was just a lot. And then with filming, so like I always had like all of my lights and stuff out. And because it was a loft, my room was upstairs and my downstairs living room was huge. So I would film like I would, in different areas. I would try to find like the best area to film. To contour, I'm going to be using, taking it back to the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Beautifully Bronzed. Um, yeah, so um, on top of filming, having like all that equipment out and then with my business, especially with me like doing more products. So I had all of these boxes of my inventory in there and then I had to do my orders in there and it was just like, it started getting like overwhelming and I was losing my house. Like literally I barely had a living room anymore. Like everything was worth like everywhere I went, my kitchen had stuff in it, my closet had stuff in it, my living room had stuff in it. The only place I had was my room and I started missing my living room. Um, and I wanted hardwood floor, obviously. Um, so yeah, I was doing that. And then I ended up going to Paris and then I went to Amsterdam and then I came home and I'm, I had two weeks to find a place. So I'm like stressed out over that. And then like just, yeah, it was just so, so much. And then my face just kept breaking out, kept breaking out. But luckily I found this apartment. If you guys want to see that empty apartment tour, I will leave that down below as well. Um, but yeah, it was just like, super duper crazy and my skin just like kept breaking out kept breaking out like literally I would lose a pimple like it would go away and I would get one in the exact same spot and the spot the the dark spots just kept getting darker and darker and then I ran out of my serum and I just kept forgetting to reorder it but I finally reordered it and I think it's coming today um but yeah so I can do an updated skin routine with that as well but it's just been like my life has been so 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 crazy like it's finally coming down as you guys can see my skin is back to normal and then I got sick <laughs> I got Invisalign which is why I already couldn't eat and you guys know I struggle with my weight like it's so hard for me to keep weight um 
So the stress didn't help and then I got Invisalign and I really couldn't eat and that didn't help. And then I got sick and I really couldn't eat and that didn't help. It was just like, oh, what is happening to me? Like, what is going on? But I finally, I'm back to the weight that I was. I'm finally back 130, but you guys know, or not, you don't know if you, if you didn't watch the video from a while ago. My goal weight is to be like 140. I was 140 a couple of years ago and I absolutely loved it. And you're gonna just be stressing for no reason. Like y'all, I'll be making stuff up, okay? Um, and I'll be losing my weight. So that's my goal weight. So that's one of my New Year's resolutions is to gain my weight back. So I'm going to start my weight gain journey again. Um, and I'm gonna start back working out like I was working out like five times a week. And it just makes you feel so much better. But trying to do filming and orders and emails and dropping the orders off and ordering inventory and I make the labels and I, I do everything by myself except for literally make the product. I work with a chemist that does that. Um, but like everything else from putting the labels on to doing the orders to everything is all on me. Um, so eventually I'm gonna need an assistant. That looks really good. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get my life in order, you guys. I'm trying to connect with you guys more because I know, like, I'm really quiet. And like, but you do YouTube. Why are you quiet? I'm like, this is different. Like, talking in front of a camera is completely different. And to be honest, when I first started doing YouTube, like, my first video ever, um, me and my best friend, Wiss, when we used to live together, Erica, she has her own channel too. I'll leave that down below for you guys because she is bomb with makeup, okay? Like, eyeshadow, all that. Y'all know I'm not that good with that, but she is. Um, we used to take shots before I filmed my videos um, because I was so nervous, like, so scared. And I don't know why, like, I always get chosen, like, to do, ever since I was little, to do, like, the speaking parts of things and to do like talk in front of crowds and I don't know why it just makes me so like nervous like I used to be a dancer and it used to make me so nervous but once I get on stage it's like boom it's, I'm here you know but it's like the get in there part is just like crazy so I used to take shots with my best friend or drink wine before I did my videos now I'm good um but yeah I'm just I'm just not a talkative person you guys I'm just really quiet I'm not like trying to ignore you guys or anything like that or trying to not share with you guys because I don't mind sharing certain things you know certain things you got to keep to yourself um but yeah I'm just I'm just not a talkative person sorry I was setting my face with the covergirl translucent powder in I think this is medium yeah in medium 115 so I was using the Sephora, not Sephora, the um, Anastasia of Beverly Hills contour powder or bronzing powder in the color cappuccino, but it's been really, really dark lately and it's been giving me like a super, super chiseled look. And I don't know if it's because I lost weight um, and my face kind of slimmed out that I just, I felt like my cheekbones are already like kind of prominent, you know, and then when I was using that, it was just like super, super like like that's how I felt and I don't like that so I'm gonna go back to my favorite um, and this is the what is this the black radiance what is it called the contour palette true complexion contour palette and light to medium and I like to mix these two um, so yeah I'm gonna go in with this and go over the little contoured area a bit and I like this one a little bit more because it's like kind of orange and it just makes you look like, like it's summer and not winter right now. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Like when you bronze your face, like it's just like your face literally just comes to life. Like it's my favorite part. Like highlighting used to be my favorite part, but now bronzer is like, oh. Yeah, so those are my new year resolutions. I wanna finish my line, so I want to get, um, I want to do, I already have my leave-in and I have, not my leave-in, I have my deep conditioner and my edge control. I want to do my leave-in, I want to do my co-wash and I want to do my curl cream. I already have the like, not the formula because my chemist obviously makes the formula, but I have the ingredients that I want in it and I know how I want it to feel, how I want it to smell. Um, I have to make the labels. I haven't done the, the labels yet, but I can't really make the labels until I have the ingredients because I have to put the ingredients on the labels. 
Um, so yeah, I want to do that. I need to do my leave-in. I think I'm going to do my leave-in first though, because that's what everyone keeps asking for. So yeah, I want to do that. I want to be more open with you guys. I want to talk more. Um, I'm going to start doing my try-on hauls more. Um, I know I had stopped, um, but like when you fluctuating in weight up and down up and down sometimes you're just not fucking comfortable and i just was not comfortable like doing try on hauls but i got my weight back and i'm going on my journey again so i'll be more comfortable doing my try on hauls um and what else what else i'm going to start vlogging more um it's actually it's not as bad as i thought it's just hard like always having the camera and when you're out in public and people just are so nosy like they just always like what, what are you feeling what are you like in your face and then some people like to pop in on the camera and they're just like <gasps> i told you guys i keep to myself so when people get up on me like that i like have an anxiety attack like what are you doing like back up um so for eyes i think i'm going to use oh, super simple for my eyes i don't want to go crazy with the eyeshadow my outfit is kind of plain I think I'm just gonna put um, a little bronzer on my lid. Uh, so yeah, vlogging, I'm definitely gonna do my vlogging more. I'm gonna do my try on hauls more. I'm gonna try to do chit chats more. Um, I know you guys wanna know things, so I definitely need to do, I need to do an updated q and I did one like three years ago. My bad, y'all. So yeah, I need to do an updated q and I wanna do videos with my best friend. Um, and I, a lot of you guys asked me to do a, another video with my little sister. She's 14. Um, so I'm going to do this actually, it's cute. Um, so I'm going to do, I want to do a video with her, but she's, you guys think I'm quiet. She's really quiet, like super duper quiet. So I'm going to do that. Just, you know, it's 2019. You got to step out. Got to just be you, you know, like, I think I'm. I think I'm cool with just having that like that and then I'll just pop a highlight in the corner in um, underneath my brow bone so yeah for liquid liner I'm gonna use my sorry my Fenty Beauty liquid liner um the fly liner I hope it's not empty um oh no it's still stuff in here so I'm gonna use my oh it's only 11 oh I'm doing good y'all I'm always a friend that's like barely making it but it's 11 and we're meeting at 12 30 so i'm hella early okay sorry my camera cut off but i told y'all liquid liner and eyebrows the day after drinking is not for me okay like so not my best wing liner but it'll do um oh and i meant to tell you guys that yes i am going to be doing not a review on the fenty foundation i don't do like makeup reviews like that i just like to know like my shades and i just like to try new makeup and a lot of you guys have been dming me especially on instagram asking me if i'm going to do um or show you guys or get honestly all my brain is everywhere or get the new uh, Fenty concealers and the setting powder I am going to get them but I'm not supposed to be spending money on like non necessities I guess this January we're not even supposed to be going out uh, this weekend like we're not supposed to go to brunch or nothing because none of us are supposed to be spending money because if we're doing the no spend January and you know that I spent so much money in December I'm not complaining like Lord thank you but like I was moving in my car and then Christmas and then getting Invisalign which I should have waited but I just uh, give it to me now like that's how I feel sometimes and I should have waited for that um and then I have to do my reorder for my edge control because I'm running out on that like I just spent so much money in December and my friends did too so we're just like and we're turning 30 this year that's another thing we're all turning 30 except Skylar she turned 30 last year but me Law and Erica are turning 30 this year and our birthdays are back to back like Erica's birthday is June 5th Skylar's birthday is um June 11th my Shanique's birthday is June 22nd and then my birthday is July 5th so literally from June 5th to July 5th we are like doing stuff spending money having fun every summer and we're turning 30 or three of us are turning 30 this year um 
so you know you gotta go big for 30 so we're really spending money like we're going on trips and like back to back to back to back this year so none of us are supposed to be spending money in january um so i'm gonna go in with the sephora golden almond um foundation powder just to set my entire face uh yeah so none of us are supposed to be spending money this in january except on things that you absolutely need um and i don't absolutely need the fenty the new Fenty product right now and I don't get makeup for free y'all so um uh it's going to have to wait okay yeah so for lashes I'm going to be using the Lily Lashes in Miami I've already used them before that's why I said they're just out um and could you guys tell me I know I've asked this before and some of you guys told me and I forgot I know I should screenshot these things um could you guys give me a new eyelash glue that works really good like um i use the pure one which i absolutely love when it's fresh like when you first get it but once it gets to like the bottom or like halfway the brush start tripping y'all and i thought it was just me i thought i'm just rough and i thought i did that the first time but this is my third time buying this and they all like the brush goes crazy when you get to the bottom um so please could you guys suggest me suggest to me a new eyelash glue I I can't believe I've actually been talking this whole time. Like, I'm literally sitting here talking. Okay, I think they're on. And then I'm going to take a little bit of mascara. This is um, Super Shock Mascara by, is it CoverGirl or Maybelline? Oh, L'Oreal, completely awesome. I'm just gonna hit with side number two underneath my lashes a bit because they have um, hella foundation on them. Okay. And then for highlight, absolute favorite oh could you guys please recommend me another highlight too this dose of colors one the first collection with desi and katie mid of may is my favorite um like i'm finally hitting pan on it y'all i broke the mirror too but i'm finally hitting pan on it and it's just like it's just so bomb like so pretty but i need a new highlighter because this is limited edition obviously and I don't want to run out and have to throw it away. And then I'm going to pop this into inner tear duct and under my brow bone. I thought I had a pencil brush over here. What's this one? And it looks like I put so much effort into this eyeshadow and your girl did nothing, okay? My stomach is growling. What time is it? 11 17 y'all i'm so early oh my gosh i can't believe myself like when i woke up it was 9 30 and i think for some reason i thought it was 10 30 and I, st I instantly hopped up and i started to brush my teeth and shower and stuff and i still got a whole hour and a half and we're meeting at skyler's house so she's only six minutes for me so I don't gotta do nothing. What, what do I have to do? Oh my god. Yep. And then I'm gonna hit my face with a little bit of the Pacifica Rosewater Hydro Mist just because I have dry skin and it's cold outside. And then I'm gonna go on top of that with the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 setting spray. And when I tell you guys, the spray nozzle on this thing is so bomb like it literally like you know how some of it is like uh with some sprays it just hits like one spot like this sprays like out and it's super fine and it just it's just so relaxing and just feels so good and i don't know what my hair is doing under here y'all so y'all know i cut my hair on new year's eve um and this was my first time wearing it in a wash and go yesterday and it was really really cute but it's so short that it doesn't fit like in a like I can't pineapple it to preserve the curls so they kind of just smashed under here. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like and uh, we're gonna figure this out together because that's probably gonna take up majority of that time. So let me go get a lip and then I'll be right back. Y'all 90% of my lipsticks look the same. Like they're all nudes. I don't like bright colors, which is another reason why I don't do makeup like that because all my makeup looks will look the same. So now that I'm here and I found my Aaliyah, I think I want to use the Aaliyah on top of this and try again. Aaliyah times MAC. It's a little darker. And then I'm going to go in with her gloss as well. 
What is this? Y'all, when y'all be putting stuff in y'all purse, like, <laughs> I be pulling it out and it be having all type of shit on it. Like, this is gum. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, so this is the gloves. Okay, so now we gotta take this off, y'all. Look at this. Oh. Where is, I thought I, I did. See, look, I tried with this. Oh, we, we still, we still a little, like, got a little action with the curls. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the spray bottle. What did I use yesterday? I used, I used the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Eagle Styler with a little bit of oil, which I need to get right now. And I used, what cream did I? Oh, I used the Aussie Moist. Ah, I used the Aussie Moist uh, Curl Line Leave-In for it and it came out really good. Look, my edge is still slick. Hey, lovely bees. I need to get this foundation out of my edges, y'all. Okay, so this is what I use for this wash and go. I use this um, Eco Styler, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil one, and then I use this Aussie Moist Leave-In Detangling Milk. Um, and then I use this hair, Revitalized hair oil with macadamia oil. This right here. So, I never refresh my hair, but I have to. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go look in the mirror and like do one of these so I can see what the back is doing and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's not too bad back there. It's a little bit of frizz, but that's expected. So I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of water. Literally, it's barely anything in here. In the back for sure. The front looks fine to me. So, of course, take my Lovely Bees Edge Control and a toothbrush. Do but Go over the edges. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm back. I changed my outfit like 10 times. <laughs> and I got these really cute little clips. I think I got them from CVS. I'm just gonna put these in my hair. Just like kind of messy. Okay, so I put my Invisalign back in if you hear me talking with a list, but this is the outfit. Super simple, super cute. The pants are from Pretty Little Things, I believe. Oh, and the top too. This is literally an outfit from my Pretty Little Thing try on haul that I did, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. Literally the exact outfit, the top, it doesn't come tied like this. It's actually down lower, but I tied it up. Um, and then these are like the loose little pants all the way around. Um, I put the little clips in my hair so you could just see like these little diamond things shining. Uh, and then yeah, so we're walking. I was going to wear heels, but we might, I told you guys we might be walking, um, to different bars. So I just put on these little sandals. I got these from Lola Chutique. They're like, um, rose gold and the clips that I have in my head are also rose gold. So this is the full outfit. And literally when I told you guys that I was early, like, I couldn't believe I was so early. It's 12.15 now, y'all. Like, I changed my outfit so many times and I couldn't figure out what to do with my little hair. And that literally took up all my time. So luckily I was early. Um, so now I have 15 minutes to get to Skylar's house. And luckily she's only six minutes away from me. And now we can go turn up. I probably actually need a mimosa to get this like jitteriness away from me because I kind of low key feel like a hangover is about to kick in because I haven't eaten. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.